Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another Imagination Monday challenge. We had gotten so many cute entries for last week for my polka dot challenge. It was awesome. I was so proud of everybody. I, I did look at everybody, but I didn't comment yet on all of you. I will get to that. I promise probably I won't be able to catch up with that until tomorrow, but Everybody did an awesome job, so give every all of yourselves a hand of a round of applause, I should say. Um, anyways, I do have a special uh, guest designer today, and her name is Miss Debbie Mentz. Um, she created such a cute project for us, which you'll see it on my blog, and there also is a link for you to go ahead and to go back to her blog to see all the details how she put it together. So for this week's challenge, it is uh, to add buttons to any imagination, imagine, I should say, to any imagine project, um, and it's just to add buttons, so if you are not using an imagine, feel free to use your Cricut, but just kind of, like I said before, use lots of pattern paper, to uh, lots of pattern paper just to make it look like in a, you know, an imagine an imagined um, project, okay? So anyways, what I'm going to use, I'm using Kate's Kitchen. I was so super excited when I won this on eBay for under $30. Can you believe that? It was a miracle. So anyways, I'm going to use this cute one right here. This cute cupcake is just way too adorable for words. And this one says, I was made just for you. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this right here. And I'm not going to put it into layers because I'm actually going to iron this on a little canvas bag, okay? So in order for me to have like that mirrored image, I'm going to go ahead, you see this little one right here where it says flip here? It flipped over to the opposite direction, so when I do iron it on, it'll be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to click on Apply. And there, ooh, I have too many up here. Let me get rid of one of them here. Let me just backspace. There we go. Perfecto. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and click on Next. And I have it there, but you know what? I forgot to size it. It looks like it's sized at six by six right now and the size actually I'm going to change the size let's go back I'm going to change the size to eight inches well you know what actually not eight inches because of the paper just to be on the well you know eight inches actually will be perfect because it is an eight and a half by 11. So let's go ahead and use, I'm going to use my little, this is the little size feature right here. I'm going to use a little plus sign to go ahead and make it 8. I forgot about that minor detail. Now we're going to click on apply. And then now we're going to go next. And there it goes perfectly on my paper. So I'm going to go ahead and get my little iron-on transfer on here. And let's go ahead and back this up. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I don't want this, well, you know what? I do want it to cut and print, actually. So let me go ahead and insert my mat here. Because I was thinking, hmm, but I'd rather have it cut and print. So this way I don't have to worry about, um, you know, trying to do the edges or anything. Or trying to trim it, I should say. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on Next. Bless you, honey. And then we're going to go and print. And what it's going to do, it's going to go ahead and print first. And then it's going to go ahead and cut out for us. Okay, it already printed out. Look how cute it is. Isn't that adorable? You see how it has like a mirrored image? So I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and try and center it the best I can. 
I'm not very good with centering, but I'm going to try the best I can. And my um, iron is set at cotton. That's the setting my little instructions told me to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and press down on this. It said to do it for 20 seconds at a time. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing it all around. And then as soon as this is done, we will go ahead and peel it up and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I just peeled it off. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness. Okay, let me go ahead. Now that we have that all done, I'm going to go ahead and add my buttons to it right okay, now. Okay, here we go. I, I went ahead and I got my little chocolate buttons here from Paper Tray Ink. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add um, this twine here, also from Paper Tray Ink. This is the chocolate. I keep calling it chocolate. It's brown, but I like chocolate better. It's the little twine from Paper Tray Ink. So I'm going to go ahead and just thread this through. And without trimming it just yet, I'm going to go ahead and, um, so I want to make sure I don't waste any. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and tie a quick little bow here. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and just make a little loop. These are how I tie my bows. Super simple. Nothing, nothing fancy. Alright, there we go. And let's go ahead and just trim that there. And that's going to go right there. Isn't that so adorable? Okay, now let's get my second button here. And go ahead and put this one through also. And this one I'm going to do the same thing. Just tie a simple bow. I love this cartridge. It is so super cute. So if you don't have Kate's Kitchen, I give it a two thumbs up. It's definitely a have to have item. And I couldn't believe I won this on eBay. So sometimes it pays not to sleep. <laughs> no. Yeah, you got to sleep. I was just up one time in the middle of the night because I couldn't rest. So I went ahead and just happened to go on eBay just for the heck of it. I'm not an eBay person. My husband's the one that got me into it, to be honest with you. But anyway, I just happened to check on it. Just look, you know, in this happened to show up and I was like oh my goodness let me see if I could get it not yeah I didn't get my hopes up and I got it I was so excited okay so there we go I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there and I think um let's see see those things are a little deep I'm gonna use my glue gun to put those down so you'll go ahead and see the finished product in the picture isn't that so super sweet? I love, love canvas bags. So this is going to be so cute. And I could put my cute little tiny laptop in here. So I hope you enjoyed my project here for Imagination Monday. So don't forget the um, challenges to create anything you want. But just make sure you add your buttons. Very, very important. Have a wonderful day. And I will... Oh, before I forget, why don't you go ahead and go back to um, go back to my blog. And under this post, I went ahead and announced the winner for the last week's Polka Dot Challenge. And you could go ahead and see what your lucky prize was. Okay? Have a great day. And I will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.